Hey guys, it's Katie. So you guys have been asking for a new morning routine and I had not realized how long it's been since the last one we did. So I'm excited to show you my summer morning routine and the things I do every single day. So the first thing I do once I wake up is make my bed. I honestly feel like if you have a clean physical space, you're gonna feel better mentally and just be ready to take on your day. I started doing this maybe six months ago. I know a lot of people do it as kids, but I was never consistent about it. So good new habit that I made in 2018, making my bed every day, and I really do feel like it's helped a ton. Once my bed is made, I chug some water. I always keep a big jar of water with me throughout the day, usually with a straw, sometimes without. It just helps me to drink more water, and then when I'm out and about, I always take my LSF day drinking water bottle with me. I had to take my thyroid medication, so a lot of you know I have hypothyroidism. I'm trying out a new medication, so I'll be doing a vlog sharing more about that, but right now it's just one pill, which is nice, because it used to be two. Wash my face first thing in the morning. I always wash it at night, but you wanna wash it in the morning too, just to get any dirt that's settled on it while you slept off. And I do not put soy in my body, but I love it on my face. This fresh soy cleanser is absolutely one of my favorites. Just really gentle. Then I'll spray some rose water just to help re-moisturize and brush my teeth. So this is probably the longest two minutes of my life. I don't know why brushing your teeth feels like it takes forever. Luckily it has like the little self timer on it, but I'll usually use this time to like stretch, wake up my body a little bit so I can feed two birds with one grain. <laughs> and then hit that deodorant. You guys know I've been really trying to consistently use the natural deodorant. And even with summer, sometimes I need to switch it up, but it's my first go-to in the morning. I got this new cute robe from Victoria's Secret. I'm just loving it. It's like a little shorter, like kimono, very lightweight, which is nice for summer. Then I'll grab my journal and head out to make coffee. So I, for a while, was trying to not have coffee until after my workouts, but I got back in coffee in the first thing in the morning train. So a little like roulette with my coffee pods from an espresso. Grab one double shot in here. Look at it, so good. And then I've been loving this cashew milk, so I'll put that in my steamer and get that going. Just about a cup of the cashew milk, which is just really gentle on your stomach. Add some cinnamon, which is a good anti-inflammatory to have first thing in the day. Get that going. And then you guys know I absolutely love Vital Proteins. This is no surprise, I've been talking about it for years. They came out with the collagen creamer not too long ago, and the coconut is my favorite. It is so flipping good. So the serving is actually two scoops. I usually just use one if I'm using espresso because I wanna have that milk to help just dilute the coffee a little bit. If I was using actual coffee, then I would use the full two scoops of the collagen, but it is so awesome for your body. It's dairy-free. Collagen is like the building blocks for your muscles, your hair, your bone, and skin, nails, everything. So it really, really helps your entire body. Plus the coconut has those good healthy fats that are really good anti-inflammatory too. After I have my coffee, I've been going outside a lot to just kind of set my intentions and start my day writing down my goals. So we're just starting the Summer Shape Up series, day one, getting my goals set for the week. And I like doing this first thing in the morning because you don't self-edit as much. You're kind of just like sleepy and tired, so you just go and write, which is really good. You don't want to self-edit when you're trying to write goals and set intentions for yourself. Just be true and honest to what you want, what you want to make happen, and it's a lot easier to do first thing in the day. Then I'll head back inside and go check on work stuff. So I'll check emails, get settled. I don't even think you guys have seen the office yet since it's been set up, maybe on Instagram and Instagram stories, but not here on YouTube. So this is our little LSF HQ office. I'm obsessed with that pink phone, it's so cool. Um, the calendar, we have a couple of desks in here and try to like space out really nice. On my desk, I have this little time cube. You guys see that little block? And I love it, except I definitely don't use it as much as I could. It just helps you like block out your time better throughout the day to work on different tasks. I always have my essential oils going throughout the entire house, but the office is all about that attention assist. We all need it, especially on Mondays. Pineapples everywhere and some motivation on the walls to keep us going throughout the day. So once I sit down, I'll kind of go through YouTube comments, see what's happening over there, check in on the community tab, which if you guys haven't seen it on YouTube, go check it out. It's super cool. It's just another place where we can catch up, let you know what's happening with Love Sweat Fitness, what the challenge is, and it's kind of like, almost like Instagram, but on YouTube, which is fun. Okay, Trello is my number one go-to for organizing my life, you guys. 
I absolutely love it. I can't say enough about it. I have the app also, and it is so cool because you can make all these different boards with different checklists, like really important things, like grab those pineapples. This actually was important for something we're doing this week. But it just helps you like organize your life. So whether you're in school for different classes or work jobs, like it is so amazing. After I've done some work and settled in for a bit, like just trying to take care of any of the things that have to be done first thing in the morning, then it is time for my workout and I'm so pumped with the summer shape up starting. Ah, oh, it's so cool you guys. So there are like thousands and thousands of you doing this, which is amazing. And I'm doing day one, so getting my workout on. So I'm gonna use the weekly workout schedule for my warm up, one round, and then the hot body sweat guide for the other part. So I'm gonna head to the beach, grabbing some clothes. This is my fitness closet. Yes, I have a whole closet dedicated to all my fitness gear, shoes, leggings, sports bras, drawers and drawers of them. It's kind of a problem, but I'm okay with it. Um, so cute pants from Lauren and Jane, a little sports bra from Victoria's Secret, and then that pink hat. And how cute is the inspo wall? You guys saw this on Instagram too. If you haven't made one yet, go do it. It is going to help you stay motivated, keep you inspired every single day. Get it up on your wall and let's sweat it out. So then I've been trying to, like I said, head to the beach for my workouts. I just love getting outside and seeing the ocean first thing in the day. It really helps set me up. So filling up my water bottle, grabbing all oh my goodness. How cute is, oh yeah, little little sneak peek at something that might be coming for Team LSF. And I got that cute new Flamingo cell phone cover too, which I just love. All right, so this is one of my favorite beaches to work out at because you kind of get a mix of the grassy areas as well as like the beautiful ocean views and it's really close to my house. So heading down to find the perfect spot to get the hot body sweat guide on. You guys, this is seriously why I love it so much. You can do it anywhere and you don't need any equipment. It's so good. Just your beautiful little body getting to work. Plus you can work on your tan. So starting with some of the step ups. You could always up level this too by jumping up onto the bench at the top. So that's the great thing. You really can take it at your own pace, walking out like burpees or take them to full jumps, which is really cool. Getting those squats on, this little sneak peek at the day one workout for the Hot Body Sweat Guide. If you guys are doing it or if you haven't done it yet or seen it, now you know kind of what it looks like here. And then taking time after my workout to stretch out. It is so important, you guys, you have to warm up. And just as important as a warm up is a stretch after your workout to help your muscles recover and give them time to like relax and that way you can avoid getting too, too tight. So I'll stretch, check in on Instagram. Loving seeing all of your guys' daily check-ins for the LSF roll call and the summer shape up, so cool. Once I get home, I'll rinse off. So you guys know I only wash my hair like once a week, maybe twice. And a lot of you have asked how I keep it from looking like crazy nasty because it does get very sweaty when I work out, obviously. So I'll use a little shower cap so it doesn't get too wet, but I do like to let it get wet just like right around the crown of my head, like the edges in the shower. So I'll kind of pull the shower cap up a little bit while I'm in there to get it wet around the edges. And then when I get out, I'll blow dry it. So it has that fresh water to help keep it a little bit clean. I'll run the blow dryer through it and that kind of helps like get rid of any frizziness that'll happen from the sweat. Use some dry shampoo. And the more that I've been using the vital proteins and the collagen, the healthier my hair has been getting, which is really good, except that it does get greasier a little bit faster than it used to because it's so healthy now, which is great. Good problem to have. So more rose water again, and then the face oil. I love using the little jade roller. It really helps increase circulation, get your blood and everything moving in your face, and it just feels really nice, like a little face massage. And then the Murad sunscreen. It's always a go-to. I like having that sunscreen on every day. Just a little bit for when I head outside. Redeodorize. Deodorant. Get more deodorant on. No one wants to smell. All right, once I shower and get dressed, it's time to head out to make my post-workout smoothie. This has been my go-to recipe for the last couple weeks this summer because it's just super refreshing and has everything my body needs for after a workout. So when you're done working out, you need carbohydrates and proteins and antioxidants to help replenish everything taken out of your body during that workout and to help your muscles grow and relax and refresh. So grabbing all of my favorite ingredients right now, 
Lately, I have been just obsessed with coconut water as the base of my smoothies, especially post-workout because it has all of those electrolytes you need. And this Obrigado has been my go-to brand. It is amazing. It's hard to find really good coconut waters, but this one is it. They have all young green coconuts. They don't use anything else. A lot of other brands will add sugars and stuff that you don't want in there. Theirs is just pure coconut water from their own trees in Brazil. They are fair trade, which is cool. And what I love about it is they don't just take the water out of the coconuts and that's it. Their goal is to use the entire coconut to make other products too, which is really, really rad. And then with the coconut water, you get healthy sugars, you get the potassium, magnesium, which helps relax your muscles and all of those electrolytes that help reduce stress and fatigue and also can really be like a great like low sugar option versus adding in like some other like post-workout drink. So I'll use spinach, which has selenium and other things that really help balance your hormones. Hemp and flaxseed are great, especially with hypothyroidism, because they have healthy omega-3 fatty acids that will help your hormone balance, which is a big thing you notice if you have thyroid issues, your hormones are off a lot. Plus it also has like iron, which you need. You're usually low if you have hypothyroidism, calcium, vitamin E, all of the goodness, and some more berries in there for added antioxidants. It is just super refreshing and packed with protein, just perfect. Once my smoothie is made, then it's time for my just summer glow look. All right, so this is my little makeup cart. I bought this cart at Target, assembled it in like a couple of minutes, and voila. It has been so useful, super helpful, because I do my makeup all over the house. I don't really have like one set spot. Yep, I'm using a yoga block to just help prop me up a little bit. It's more comfy. Um, the cart just makes it really easy. So I have a lot of different makeup products and I have to tell you, I just recently tried this new set of makeup from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild was the first makeup I ever owned, ever. Like seventh grade, first thing. And I actually really, really love this. So this is their brand new Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. And you guys, it is so easy. I'm a foundation girl because I like having that moisture and like supple skin, which powder usually like just makes me really dry and I already have dry skin. But this is really nice because normally foundation, I feel like I'm wasting a ton because when I pour it out, it's like all over the place. And then it gets really messy. And this little compact is super cool because there's no mess. The little cushion allows you to like build. So it's not like just all one thick color across your face. You can start lighter and add on more and more and more. And then I'm using just this little highlighter glow. that's very bronzy right on the cheek. Um, and by the way, that foundation's only $8.99. I have so much makeup. The last foundation I just bought was like $52, you guys. And I seriously love this so much. And then this little stick is cool because it's all like just, again, very like moisturizing. So I'm using this on my eyes and my cheeks and even on my lips. Gives you that just very like summer glowy kind of apricot color. And that's like my favorite. I feel like it really brings out my eyes too. The cool stuff about all of their makeup is it's literally 100% cruelty free. All of their, like everything that Wet n Wild does. And that's super important to make sure that what you're putting on your skin is healthy, like both for yourself, but for the environment. And then I do a little setting spray. So literally like five products, less than five minutes, makeup is done for the day, so easy. All right guys, so that's basically my entire morning routine. I usually take about an hour and an hour and a half-ish to get everything done. And I like to be done by 9 a.m. because that's when my day really gets started here at LSF HQ. That's when my team comes in to help me get everything done for you guys, like our new workouts. We're always filming workouts for every Monday on YouTube and other videos, sometimes two videos a week, and then stuff on the blog, new recipes, and working on fun new projects for you guys. So let's go check them out. Thank you.